Coming up in this week's episode, we encounter near gale conditions. We're on heave two at the moment. Uh, Adam just put a third reef in the main. We have a hard time getting to Wellington. Right in the tide and the way in the currents coming out because the tide's dropping. It's dropping out a bit. Cool. Yeah, half past one in the morning. And welcome to the capital of New Zealand. knots running through the wind is racing off these hills over there and accelerating across the water like it's a racetrack smashing into the boat absolutely bonkers it's gonna be really hard to stay on track A bit too much out here so we just filled the head sail sewed the boat down to about two knots 2.5 still crawling forward just spilling the wind off the main sail hopefully it won't last too long this it's racing down here off the hills see gale force winds Well, heave two at the moment. Uh, Adam just put a third reef in the main. And uh, it is a heave two position. Above 60 degrees. With the tiller tied over to one side. And then the main, treble reef main and that's it. We've got no back to Noah. We don't need it on this boat. It heaves too fine on Treble Reef Main with the tiller locked over. So what you do if you were in a storm, you just have the tiller tied over to one side. 
what it's like 50, 60 knots. I don't know. Just the main. We should find out too. <laughs> I don't want to find out. Yeah. I think I changed my mind about sailing around New Zealand. It's difficult. I didn't know it would be so hard. The weather is. The wind is shocking. It's just, yeah. I think we've run out of time anyway. It's nearly the end of February. We've got March and April. And then we have to go in May. We've got two months. We're not even... I don't think we're going to do it. I don't think we can just say we're not going to do it. I just don't think it's possible. It's autumn in two weeks. It's so late because of all the problems we've had. Yeah. We're discussing that as we're heave to in yeah. 25, 30 knots. We just run out of time to do it. It's uh, disappointing, but everything, loads of stuff has gone wrong. We had a big upgrade, electrical problems, and then the engine, or the diesel problems, and then the weather is not just not playing ball. We come down here, we thought we we're gonna have a lovely sail down, and we got after 35 knots. We got stuck in Toronto for like nearly four weeks waiting for weather. It was three weeks it was then. To get round East Cape, it was three weeks of time wasted. Ridiculous. Oh. For tea. Just uh, what is it? Tuna pasta bake without baking it yeah. in the pan. Something quick and easy to deal with these horrendous conditions we're having out here today. It looks like Adam does most of the cooking, but he does. But I actually cook this, so it's just been reefing outside because it's blown up again to 20 plus six knots. Yeah. Tea has been complete. How oh, big, yeah? I'm bringing it back in a moment. Adam has it? assumed the normal position, laying down, doing nothing. Sorry we couldn't record anything, but there was a case of just shoving it down your mouth as fast as possible before the next storm rolls in. And talking about storms, it's actually gone really peaceful and quiet out here, and I'm going to get some more gin over that. Yes. Just finished my uh, packet of Maltesers. Really, really delicious. I'm actually sat, sat out here on deck to be pretty much stuck inside most of the day, just laying on our backs and our, on our bunk in on our backs in our bunks because the weather's been so crappy. Lovely evening. It's about half past six in the evening. This is the rugged coastline of New Zealand. It's a lighthouse over there. And I believe that is Castle Point. There's a good anchorage over there in the sand. So yeah, it's just literally just stopped raging out here now. But if I look in the distance, there's more winds out there coming. It is nice. Got a deeply reefed mainsail. Oh, it's cold. Yeah. It's cold. I know, it's getting cold we go south, isn't it? You noticed that? Yeah, I have. It's cold in the nights. Yeah. We had a frost last night. <laughs> no, we didn't. Woke up. The salt water that was on the deck from the night before it froze in the morning. It's all froze. <laughs> we were outside with picks and shovels, <laughs> bashing it off the railing because it was weighing the boat down Dude, like they do on uh, Deadliest, Deadliest Catch. Catch. Hopefully make some progress today. I think the best thing to do is add and do a chart update later. Yeah, I'll show you where we'll we see, are. See what's happening. Doing. Just uh, switching the internet on now and we'll get some... Starlink! Get some internet and uh, see what we're doing. 
The weather is not looking good with light, unfavourable winds, so we decide not to continue with our passage to Christchurch and point our boat towards Wellington. We're running down with the wind now. I seem to have a fantastic southerly. We got 15 knots. Yeah, about 15 knots of southerly. All behind. Weird. Totally weird, Luke. But very welcome. Yeah, before the points we had northerlies and now we've got southerlies. Yeah, it's not southerlies, is it? It's easterly. We're going west. Yeah, so it's easterly. My brain's gone. My brain's gone. Easterlies. Chicken tonight, carrots, green beans, and a uh, mountain of cheese. It's absolutely massive, Ed. Yeah. It's absolutely delicious. <laughs> Can't help it. <laughs> so hot, though. Yeah. It's because of the bowl. Oh. Really choppy, yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be. Yeah, the wind's eased now. Yeah. We've got to Freezing. Oh, they're mad. Probably got jumpers on or something. Now, 
1.6 at full flow. It's going down as time goes along, but yeah, there's a lot of waves on the map here. Wavy areas for current, rough water. Nothing we can do really, we're just crawling along until this arrow turns in our favour. Then we go up to, into Wellington. We're going to anchor in uh, Evans Bay down by here, this area here. I think that's a good, good little area that. There's loads of moorings here, so it must be good if there's loads of moorings there. Maybe at our anchorage, I reckon about 3 a.m., between 2 and 3 a.m. Be all right, looking forward to getting our heads down on the hay, get some sleep, and tomorrow we can go for a run. How do you fancy that? Did we make it? Let's keep a close eye on the engine, because I wish we had enough money to get a pizza at 30. But it's always a worry, the engine. Yeah. If the engine went now, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, there's no wind at all. no wind, and then the side going out. It's really old and it's chipped all around the edges, it's in pieces. That's not helping the situation, having a, oh, a really great. old prop. Brilliant! Oh, yeah. It's not very efficient. No, we're trying, we're trying. Still motoring, just getting towards the entrance of uh, Wellington now, aren't we? Yes, we're going our way up there. We we're fighting the, tide, <laughs> fighting the tide and the way in the current coming out because it's tide dropping. Yeah, half past one in the morning. Doing well, that should be there in about an hour and a half, isn't it? I'd like to think so. Probably bed by half past three. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the bit, the rubbish bit about sailing that people don't really want to do, but has to be done. I don't really want to be sitting here right now looking at the painfully slow three knots coming up this channel but yeah. it's got to be done isn't it? Yeah. When you get there it's just a sense of achievement and you've yeah. done a nice tough passage. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Do an update when we get there. I get into bed. Snuggle down with my quilt. <laughs> It's 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. We've literally just put the anchor down here in Wellington. Now we're going to go to bed. I'm going to sleep. And it'll be interesting to see what it looks like here in the morning. Congratulations, Luke. Congratulations. <laughs> Not even filming it. <laughs> it's too late. <sighs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Tough, yeah. Tough passage, wasn't it? This time. Tough, wasn't it? It was tough. It was tough. One word for it, just cha challenging and tough. Done Not it. what I expected, but we're here. Though, we anyway. always do it, don't we? Yeah, done. You always get a job done. Job done. Uh, I'm going to bed now. I'm not even going to drink any beer, I'm just going to go to bed. Oh, God, no. <sighs> anyway, good night. Good night, everybody. Right. Bye. Bye. Welcome to Wellington! We turned up on Marathon Day! It's a shame we ran yesterday, isn't it? Where we could have joined this. Well, we probably could get tickets, but yeah. because Wellington has a nickname and you probably can guess it it's called Windy Wellington for a reason because it's always windy here because you'll get a north westerly or a south easterly blowing through the Cook Strait
these things, I'm guessing what these are, residents live up there and then the garages are down here and I'm guessing they got like little, whatever they called, escalator things to come down here into their garages and then go back up because they're all along, all along the shore here. Yeah, they're like chairlifts, isn't they? That's the word I'm looking for, yeah. How weird. Never seen that before in my life. Like a roller coaster, isn't it? Yeah, top. that'd be quite scary. You have to be rich to have one of these. I wonder if we could blag to the wrong one. Amazing vessel, they're doing it up there. Yeah. Got a big, big crane on the back. Crazy. And they're doing it up with volunteers and stuff, aren't they? Can lift 80 tons. Come out. That's a lot. 80 tons. Can you restore it? up for a hundred years old in two years. Mm. Made in Glasgow and sailed out here by itself yeah. <laughs> under its own steam. Mm. From Glasgow to here via, via Panama. Yeah, that's and, where we come from. Is it? On a small boat we sailed from the UK. Nice. And the 34 foot boat, yeah. Take you long? We'll be cruising for two and a half years now. Yeah. It's, it's a, a slow cruise. Slow cruise, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, slower than this. How long you got to go? Uh, well, we got half around the world now. We've got to do Asia and everything, so maybe another couple of years. Nice. Years, maybe, yeah. yeah. Well, I took my ancestors nine years, nine months to get here. Nice. In the back. Mm. My <laughs> grandfather said it sailed sideways just as well as from yeah. anyways. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is pretty cool. Oh, mm. We'd like to get hold of the people in Glasgow and. Let them know it's still going and maybe invite them out to see it or something, yeah, you know? That would be awesome, nice, yeah. yeah. Amazing, isn't she? Yep. It'd take a lot of work. Yeah, we had it um, steamed up yesterday, lifting. Oh, we right. moved the, um, the crane. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Mm. We've changed it from coal fired to. Um, Composite fired, same as the Furies run on, and, you know. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a great thing to spend your time on. I bet. See ya. See ya, man. See ya. This is the Wellington cable car. Bye! Isn't it? Gone. it doesn't go very far, does it? No, we're like going to ride it. Stops. 11 bucks each to go up and down. Yeah. It doesn't really go anywhere, does it? They must go somewhere. Up the hill. Just in the local supermarket, it's called New World. New World! Sponsors of this episode of the Sailing Brothers. No, it doesn't. It's a very popular supermarket in New Zealand and look at the salmon, look how expensive it is. It's 52.99 a kilo for salmon. With the coleslaw, it looks nice, doesn't it? We're trying to think of some ideas what to have for tea. Yeah. What do you think? We don't really know. Any ideas? Look <laughs> at these. Can't decide. Oh, look at them. 
$34 for the cake. A can of Coke. Just in case you're wondering, this is what a New Zealand supermarket looks like. It looks like any other supermarkets in the world. It doesn't look any different. Okay, what we're going for is like a chicken kind of stir fry. We've got chicken, pepper, coleslaw. Then we want to get some like a crusty cob to go on there. And what else is it? Barbecue sauce. It's a barbecue sauce you want. I think that'll be a good treat. Now we'll look around. Shopping completed. Yeah. We bought yeah, chicken, uh, pepper, uh, barbecue, sticky bar. This is not called a pepper here, it's called a capsin. Yeah, what's up with that? We couldn't find it on the machine, you know, self service, we've got to type it in. Capsin. A capsin? Yeah. And they're not called shopping trolleys, they're called trundlers. Yeah, get it right, will you? So we're going to have like a stew kind of stir fry. We bought some crusty bread to go on there for tea. So we're going to scoot our way back to the boat now and eat that. Good morning, everybody. Absolutely stunning place here. Look how calm it is. 